just a little bit. And when you're ready. So quiet, everybody. And when you're ready. Okay. Uh, uh, um, I really don't know what to say. Hello. It is about either not wanting to be a daddy or not ready uh, to be a daddy. If you think of it more of a, as a moving painting instead of a narrative film, it really is a pretty, uh, pretty absurd but pretty interesting story of like, um, you know, jealousy and longing. It was a tough movie to watch, but it definitely was thought provoking. It's a very vaginal movie. I think almost every moment could be construed as being about birth. And at the very end, I thought that maybe the whole movie takes place in the moment of conception. I'm just feelings of isolation and unrestlessness. I thought about life and death and obviously, you know, bringing life into this world and in some ways removing it as well. Uh, that was the first time I've ever seen this movie. I don't know what I just saw, but I liked it and I want to see it again and I know I'll never forget it. Dealing with death and then also like just finding uh, yourself amongst the death. It's like you're seeing a reflection of who you are amongst misery and isolation. I think it's about a slow loss of spirituality to the point where just all the mystical stuff deadens and then it all comes back but just in absolutely horrifying ways until he's absolved. First I've seen it at 35mm, a lot more horrifying in film, but I would say that Eraserhead, I feel like it's a movie that delves into the darker aspects of fatherhood and being a parent. It's interesting how some people got different different things out of it and I was just thinking about how fragile certain life is and just uh, how it kind of portrayed that to me. Dealing with what you're given. Um, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, and, and trying to decide what is the best thing to do. To me it's about uh, the autonomy and playing the cards that you're dealt, whether they come from an evil place or a place of good. It's just about the choice that we have and how we use um, what we're given for good or evil. For me, I think it's about fear and anxiety and when you don't face your fear it grows and festers and eventually you have to put away those childish things and um, embrace the light. And I think at the end, when you face that fear and overcome that anxiety, then you're bathed with a warm white light. I guess what I felt it really was happiness and worry. It's weird feelings, I know, and they kind of conflict, but that's what it felt.